friends in this video we are going to see management of a posterior subcapsular cataract the anterior chamber is filled up with visco after making the main incision and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and now capsulorexis is done with the help of uh, utrita forceps a capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided anti-clockwise all around to get an adequate size trexis of 5.5 millimeter hydro dissection is done with the help of a 27 gauss cannula and pieces hydro delineation is also done and we have a beautiful golden ring in this case let's go again and then the feco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber the nucleus is very soft only 20 to 30 percent ultrasonic energy is utilized in this case just tilt the nucleus and emulsify it and then the epinuclear shell is pulled to the center and it is removed and now the cortex a part of the cortex has been removed by the FECO needle itself inject visco and then uh, use the 27 26 gauze cannula Simco cannula to remove the cortex. Sub incisional cortex is difficult to remove through the main wound, so we go through the side port to remove these sub incisional cortex. Now, this is hydro polish. The irrigating proof is used to polish the posterior capsule and then hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done in the capsular bag the irrigating proof dials the lens and now this is moxie the side port is closed by hydration of corneal stroma and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with the help of this 23 gauze simco cannula integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence